Okay, so I need a pretty big piece of uh, stock in order to make uh, this band here to fabricate it. And so my ingot mold is too short. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, this is the, um, the side with the rim on it. I'm going to put that down and I'm using just Petrobond. No Delft, just the Petrobond. I gotta raise my lamp here. So I'm using the end of a mandrel to pound this down. Okay, we'll add a little more. Okay, when we get to that point, we want to scrape off the top. Just like that. Now, I'm using the three inch flask because I need a pretty good sized piece. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add Telk here, just like that. I've just got a piece of bar here. I'm going to push that in halfway, just like that. I'm going to take the other half, try and line this up good, and I'll take a little more telk and put it on the piece. Now we'll take more Petrobond. On the big three inch flask, the end of the mandrel works a lot better because with the hammer, the handle of the wood, the wood of the handle hits on the edge of this. So this has worked better. Okay, I'll find something that will scrape that better. Try this. There we go. So now, if we pull this straight up, we can take that out. Doesn't have to be too perfect. All it's gonna be is to make a bigger ingot. So now, probably even do this with the thumb. You just want to push that down so that there's no little granules on there, although still not a big deal. Okay, that's, that's that side. We'll do the same to this side. Just want to have a nice funnel here. Nice and deep. Pack that down good. Blow out any excess. We'll move the rest of this out of the way. Okay. Since it's Petrobond, we do not need any kind of vents. So we'll line that up. Put it in there. Okay.
Some people have asked about making a extra size AccuPore, but I think the side of this works fine. That'd be a huge AccuPore. So you want to have enough metal that it's going to fill that up and also have a little extra at the top. And the extra at the top will help a great deal in how the metal, the piece actually cools. Okay, now I'll add a little bit of borax. quite a bit actually, but no problem. Heat up this tip really good. So I definitely had a little extra metal, but having the pan here catches all of that, so that's not a big deal. Now when I do this, I stand up. Uh, I very seldom would I sit down to do a sand casting. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to move that out of the way. I would say that is dynamite. Perfect. It gives me a great big piece of stock that I can roll out in the rolling mill. All right, I think that's it. All right, thank you.